These three figures were revealed and they are really looking awesome. We get an updated Scarlet Spider. We finally get a Last Stand Spider-Man. And of course, we have the Jack O' Lantern as well. First, let's talk about Scarlet Spider. This is the pair of Scarlet Spider that we've gotten so far by Hasbro. The first one is from the Rhino BAF Wave and the second one is from the Retro Wave. Both of these are on the modified Pizza Spidey Mold. They have the same arms and legs, but the torso is definitely retooled for the hoodie. And it doesn't have the shoulder butterfly joints. You can see the obvious difference in the shade of red and blue. Here's the back of the figure, the Retro having the bigger spider symbol. The web shooters are totally different. The retro wave has it more accurate to his appearance in the comic compared to this one. This is more towards his Ben Riley Spider-Man costume. And the next difference are the eyes. There isn't any black outline on this one. But having said that, the eyes are still not accurate to the comics. One major downside of this figure is the bottom of the hoodie over here. You can see all the gaps that is there to accommodate to the tubes on the belt. Look at that. All those gaps. Same goes at the back. If it's in place, it's not really obvious, but once you turn it, you really can see those obvious gaps. The new Scarlet Spider is on the Renew Your Vows body mold, and they finally corrected quite a few things about him. First off, I really like the shade of red and blue. It's looking good and quite accurate to the comics. And most importantly are the eyes. The eyes is finally comic accurate. So much better than these two Scarlet Spiders. The web shooters also appear to be slightly more bulky compared to the one from the retro wave. The belt looks similar but has more tubes going around it compared to these two figures. And for the straps, I'm not really sure it looks like a reuse but yeah, there's nothing wrong with those straps. There is also a tear scalp around the arms of the hoodie unlike these two versions which doesn't have that. And this strip here appears to be in white instead of blue. The only thing is that the hoodie goes all the way down just before the app crunch. So I hope this mid torso articulation is still there on the Scarlet Spider figure and is still able to have this sort of mid torso movement. Oh, and lastly, thankfully, it comes with all three pairs of hands, web shooting, wall crawling and fists. Because even recently, we have gotten Spideys that doesn't come with all three pairs of hands. But there still isn't any other Ben Riley head except for the one that comes with the Retro Wave Scarlet Spider, which is a repaint of the Pizza Spidey head. I actually use this Anakin head because I feel the head does resemble this Ben Riley when he had his hair this thick. Since we have some cloth goods in the recent Marvel Legends figures like the lab coat on Beast and also the cloth cape on Storm, I wonder what is stopping Hasbro from just giving us a cloth hoodie for Scarlet Spider. What do you think is the reason? Do share in the comments. But that aside, the new Scarlet Spider figure is still looking great. Can't wait to get my hands on them. Next up is the Last Stand Spidey. I'm not sure whether this is a new sculpt. It does look new to me. I have not seen any of the parts before. But then again, I haven't been buying most of the recent Marvel Legends figures. So if it's a reuse, do share in the comments. But for now, I think the arms and the legs does look kind of new. The figure really looks great in vanilla pose. But the only thing is that it doesn't have any torso articulation. Or if it does have the Miles Morales treatment, there would be a mid-torso joint inside. But looking at how slim this figure is, there is only probably waist swivel, but no ab crunch or mid-torso joint. And here's a custom of the Last 10 Spidey that I've gotten for quite cheap. The customizer actually used the Toy Beast movie Daredevil figure and it's actually quite a decent custom. <laughs> the scalp on it is really great and yeah, this is actually a decent custom but I definitely prefer that we are getting the official version. The only downside about the new figure is that it doesn't come with the web shooting hands. And lastly, we have the Jack O' Lantern, Hasbro and the Toy Beast version. All three of these Jack O' Lantern has a different reiteration of his appearance. This one is definitely one of his modern appearance. I'm not sure when he appeared as this version, but this new one is actually from one of his early appearance. He has that appearance in this Spider-Man issue, but having the bombs at his waist, it actually follows more closely to his appearance in Captain America. This Hasbro Jack O' Lantern comes with a broom and a sickle, and it uses the SDCC Thunderbolts Ghost Body Mold, and the Toy Biz Jack O' Lantern comes with this glider. Looks really good. And these two huge pumpkin bombs. <laughs> and of course, the Toy Beast one has a unique body mold. It has a gimmick whereby you press the button over here 
and the eyes would light up. Of course, it doesn't work anymore. And the arms have a gimmick movement. It is supposed to like flick the pumpkin bombs, I think. <laughs> so yeah, even though I'm not really interested in this character, I'm still definitely going to get this figure. So there you are, these three reveals. What are your thoughts on these figures? Do share in the comments. For me, I'm definitely getting all three of them. And definitely really excited for Scarlet Spider and Last Stand Spider-Man. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and check out my other reviews at my channel.